What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Sam and I'm so glad you stopped by this channel. I am also kind of new to YouTube. I started it a few months ago while I was in PA school. I am happy that you stopped by and you're watching this video and I'm really grateful that you guys are here. Today's video is in response to a previous video that I posted on why I quit medicine and basically dropped out of PA school. That video recently hit 10,000 views the other day and and I've gotten a lot of questions and DMs on Instagram from that video and I wanted to create a follow-up video to kind of answer those questions, clarify anything, and just talk about this topic a little bit more because after reviewing some comments on that video and just kind of responding to people or talking with some people, it became pretty clear to me that I was not the only one that struggled with this feeling. So I do want to just clarify some things that, that I said in that video and talk a little bit further about the decision I made and just answer some of these questions. So I did write down a few questions that I've got on my phone that's about to die, so we'll see how long this lasts. So I wanna answer a few of these big highlight questions that people seem to be really interested in. Before I begin, I want to clarify this by saying I was in PA school and I, I thought I made that really clear in that video. In no way was I in medical school. I was studying medicine, but I mean, both of them deserve their own I don't know, stand. They're different things, but they do very similar things. So I just wanna clarify that before I jump into this video. By quitting medicine, I did not mean quitting medical school. Both people in medical school and PAs study medicine. So just wanna clarify that, but I do want to answer some really big questions that I have gotten. The number one question that I have gotten is, do I regret it? Uh, in no way do I regret quitting medicine. I want to expand on that a little bit. I have never said, and I said this in my video, I believe medicine is a wonderful career. It truly, truly is a great career. There are multiple reasons that I don't regret it. The number one being, and I did mention this in the video, was I didn't quit because it was hard. I quit because it wasn't me. That was like my opening line to that video because that is why, that is literally the number one reason I don't regret it. I would regret it, I think, if I had quit just because it was hard. A few months later, I'd probably be sitting here like, what the heck did I do? Why would I quit something like that? But if I'm being honest, like, no, I, I don't regret it because I didn't quit because it was hard. I quit because I seriously didn't feel like myself. I was really hesitant on making this video because there are some questions. I've received some like hate comments and I've just been a little like nervous to touch the surface of some of the comments and things that I've received on this video. That's because I am new to this YouTube thing and being authentic and real is very, very important to me and being honest because I don't wanna be somebody that just puts content out there that's not honest, but also like receiving hate comments on my honesty. I don't know, it hurt a little bit and I have realized like, okay, no, Sam, like, you've got to, like, stick up and be like, no, this is, I mean, like, I, I have not felt better in my entire life. And I was talking to my husband the other night, and I was just like, you know, I haven't once thought, like, oh, man, why did I do that in, like, a negative way? Like, I've not once thought that. With that being said, there are a mix of emotions and there were a lot of people that commented on this video like that they were thinking about quitting graduate school, whether it be, you know, law school or medicine or whatever the case may be. And I think my number one piece of advice there would be kind of like evaluate why you want to quit because all of these graduate programs are very rigorous, very hard. I've never been to law school. I've never been to medical school, but I'm assuming those things are very hard and you get to a certain level of burnout that is quite significant that makes you want to quit. But if you are considering quitting graduate school or whatever you're doing with your life, evaluate why you want to quit because I think that there are hard moments in any sort of career that you pick. But if you are in it, if your heart's in it, you can like power through those hard moments. Sam and I have a really long story and if this is the first video of mine that you are watching, Sam and I went through three miscarriages while I was in PA school and that played a huge role into me quitting because having a family is like like the number one passion in my life. Before any career that I could ever have, I wanna have a family. And I think when tragedy happens to you and your heart is like, having to pour your heart into something that you're not passionate about. And for me, it was medicine. I wasn't able to process anything that Sam and I were going through. It 
like caused me to be very distant and it just wasn't a very good thing for me. And I think I didn't want to continue that way down the road. So yeah, I, I don't regret it. I am happier than I have ever been, even though I'm not making money and I have no idea still like what's going on with life. And it's been a bomb just dropped on me. I am really, really happy and I don't regret it at all. So that is the number one question. The second question is, did your friends and family support you? Yes, they did. That was like huge for me. I, um, have actually never felt so supported in my life, like even more so than when I was in PA school. And I knew I had support from my husband. You know, I, I knew that there were certain people that were gonna support me because those were the people that I processed this with while I was still in PA school. I have received nothing but support from my friends and family. So yes, I have been very supported. Number three, why did I even choose something that I didn't like? I explained this a little bit in my video. I chose this career for security and the prestige. And I mentioned this in my video, but when I got into fashion school as a a high schooler that was my dream and when it wasn't supported fully that hurt me as a kid and I was like man I, I can't go after my passions like I'm not supported in that area and so I didn't and I you know picked something that I knew everyone would be okay with for a long time I felt really alone in that feeling and I was very scared to post that video but since getting you know a couple thousand views and having some comments and some dms and I've just been like blown away by the number of people that also had that feeling as a kid. Ultimately, I chose medicine for the wrong reasons. My mind was clouded when I first chose it. Okay, the next question is what made me most scared to quit? So I think leading up to the decision, I knew that Sam supported me because we had talked about it a lot. He is the person I process things with and I knew my mom supported me. I was really scared to quit because I was scared that people weren't going to support my decision. People People that I loved and everybody that I love supported me and was there for me and processed things with me so the support aspect of it was a huge reason but I've been really blessed to have awesome support and the second reason that I was most scared to quit was honestly judgment I think that's why the hate comments on that video have really affected me and they really did and I know putting yourself out there on the internet like of course you're gonna receive hate comments but I have received more love than I could ever express it has taught me a lot about how I view other people's lives. Going through this past year and quitting medicine and having miscarriages, there are very few people who understand what you're going through. And I think for me, it has changed my perspective on understanding what other people go through. Everybody seems to have a judgment about someone else's life and someone else's situation. This entire situation has really made me step back and be like, okay, like, do I actually understand what this person is going through? And I know that might sound a little corny, but it's so true because I know what it's like to be on the receiving end of a situation that people do not understand. That was what I was most scared of, is people thinking I was just like a phony or a fake or a give up. But I know in my heart that I'm not. Like I know that I didn't just give up because it was hard and I know that I'm happier than I've ever been and this was the best decision I could have made for myself. But in that moment, I was actually scared what other people would think of me. Those were the two biggest things that made it difficult for me to quit and actually added months on to me when I would have actually quit. So question number five is how did you overcome the feeling of not having a plan B? I am still in that season of life. I think I had it a little bit easier in this area because of the support that I had. My husband has a job. Um, we had savings that we could fall back on. We moved in with my mom and she has been a huge blessing. If you are quitting because it's not you, it's easier to find a plan B because you just go to the thing that is you. For me, I quit and then four months later, I've started a website and working on my own brand and starting this YouTube channel and getting back to just the creative side of what I love. I'm baking and cooking all the time, starting to write my own cookbook. I got to a point in school where it was like, I might not have a plan B, but it will come to me. The next question I got is how much debt do I have? I have got a few people that have asked me how much debt I'm in. I will say that I had no undergrad debt. My husband and I decided to take out loans for PA school. I'm not going 
going to put the exact amount on here because I do, while I want to be authentic on this channel, I also don't want to step into a private area of life. I will say that it is a lot of money that I'm not happy that I have to pay back for a career that I'm not gonna do. Seven, what am I gonna do now? I kind of briefed on this a little bit. This is my last question. I briefed on this a little bit, but I ha am building this YouTube channel. I have fallen in love with this platform. Honestly, I started this channel a couple months before I quit PA school and I've totally fallen in love with it. Talking about everything that I love and hopefully creating it into something else later on down in the future. I do wanna grow here on this platform and I am gonna be honest about that because I do like transparency on this platform so I want to grow here on YouTube and just talk about things that I care about. I also want to talk about stuff like this and while I love the beauty industry and I love to cook and I love home stuff and I love everything like that I also really want to talk about life experiences like quitting medicine and how that drastically changed my life. I will link my website down in the description of this video. I literally just started this website a few weeks ago. This YouTube channel will continue continue to grow. I'm posting videos every Wednesday, every Saturday. If you like beauty, cooking, home stuff, all that stuff is coming to this platform. So like this video or subscribe to this channel because it'll help this channel out. I will be 100% honest, I have made this platform my full-time job because I love it and I'm happier than I have ever been. So I'm just gonna keep going with it and seeing what happens. Thank you guys so much for showing up, listening to this video. I will continue to talk about this topic specifically. If you have any more questions, please feel free to comment them down below, DM me on Instagram. I love you guys so much and I'm so glad you stopped by. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon. Bye YouTube.